What up guys, we are doing a mixed jump rope workout today, meaning we are using two separate ropes within this workout. So if you wanna do this workout, you need to have yourself the one pound cross rope and also the quarter pound agility rope also by cross rope. In the first half of each circuit, we're gonna do the one pound rope and we're gonna to try to whip that as hard as we can. This is gonna be more higher resistance, more uh, muscle maintenance type of workout. In the second half of the workout, we're gonna move on to the lighter rope, the quarter pound rope, which is more for agility and helping you improve with tricks. It's pretty fun, you'll see after you use the heavy rope and move to the lighter rope, you're able to move that lighter rope with more fluidity, more agility. You just look more like a jump rope ninja. So let's get into the workout. All right, Zen dudes and dudettes, we're getting into a mixed jump rope workout. So get your two ropes ready and we're about to get into it in three seconds with the one pound rope regular bounce. And here we go. So just like with the, the normal quarter pound agility rope we usually use, we're coming just about an inch or two off the ground and we're trying to spin this rope as fast as possible. Nothing much changes, it's just gonna be more resistance on your body because the rope is heavier, so it's gonna be harder. So you gotta push yourself. And you know, you get a little reward on the second half of each circuit when you break out the, the lighter rope. Two, one, time. All right, we're going back to the one pound rope, the high knees coming up next. Get your breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth, get focused, let's rock and roll. Right back to it, high knees, get those knees up. So the goal here is to get those knees just about up to hip level. Um, you know, as you get tired, it's gonna be hard to pull your knees up that high, but do the best you can. You can see here, I'm doing the best I can, but on the second half, a lot of these, these um, intervals you know my knees get a little bit lower but I'm pushing myself as far as I can and that's all we expect from you and rest so take a deep breath into the nose out through the mouth if you want you can take a box of breath where you breathe really fast through the nose and spit out your breath that's a helpful way I use my breath to catch my breath get my wing back all right, you guys, crisscrosses now. So crisscrosses are actually a lot easier with the one pound ropes. So if you can't do them with the, uh, the lighter ropes, try them with the heavy ropes. And you may find that you can do them with the heavy ropes, even though you can't do them with the light ropes. So get into a rhythm, a couple of regular bounces, followed by a crisscross. You could also do run in place, crisscross. It's up to you, whatever you want. And again, get your breath into the nose, out through the mouth. Gather yourself, we got one last set with the one pound rope, feet front to back, here we go. So you wanna be bouncing here, just about on the balls of your feet, a little bit forward, so between your tips of your toes and the balls of your feet, and we're staying very light here, as light as possible, just uh, alternating weight back and forth between your two feet. And again, keep that posture on point, want that back straight, especially when we're using these heavy ropes. and time. So the second half of this circuit, grab your quarter pound agility rope. If you can, as fast as you can, if you need to pause the workout, do it. And we're gonna get right back into it. So we got the old run in place here. And just like in the last exercise, we are going in between the balls of our feet and the tips of our toes, and we're just sprinting now. We're going as fast as we can. You're gonna find that after using the heavier rope, this lighter rope's gonna feel really easy, and you're gonna feel like a jump rope ninja. So whip that rope, go as hard as you can, it's just 30 second intervals. So push yourself all the way through, let's go. Three seconds left. Time, catch your breath. We got butt kicks coming up next. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. You're already over halfway done with this circuit. Then you get a one minute break. Here we go. So again, nothing changes you guys. Keep good posture, spinning that rope. Nothing's moving except for your wrists. Keeping your arms, your upper arms, your, your forearms, everything stationary. And we're just trying to bring those heels as close to our buttocks as we can. Let's roll. Five seconds, come on, finish strong here. And we got 10 mo seconds of rest before we get into the next exercise, which is jump rope around the world, which is something you may not have seen before. So go ahead and watch me as I do this. Basically, I'm just doing regular bounce, and I'm bringing it around in a circle. 
You can go clockwise, counterclockwise, doesn't really matter. Just bring uh, your regular bounce in a circular motion. And this is just another way to improve your agility, dexterity, coordination, as I mess up. Here we go, finish drop, five seconds. Time. All right, this is the final interval. Jump rope, regular bounce, fast. The goal here is to spin that rope as fast as you can. Push yourself here as fast as you can, as hard as you can. Let's go, all out effort. You got 20 seconds and then you get a whole minute break. So push yourself here, let's go. Halfway there, come on. Remember, you can go even faster when you barely come off the ground and you keep all the movement in your wrists. Five more seconds. Beautiful, go ahead and take a minute rest and then repeat this circuit two to four more times. You guys, we hope you enjoy this workout. If you wanna grab either of the ropes that we use within this video, they're linked down in the description below. Also, as always guys, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're gonna continue making jump rope workouts, jump rope tutorials, jump rope everything to help you get lean and live an awesome life.